Well, I think most people can agree and they understand that accidents and auto accidents, uh, certainly here in Florida, are very common. But what happens when there is an auto accident involving a tractor trailer on the highways? Well, joining us uh, again this morning to answer a few questions, we have Catherine Stone from Injury Florida Law once again. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you? Good, good. This is interesting. Where I don't, I can't remember the last time we've talked about this, but I'd imagine uh, semi trailers. Uh, I mean, right. You're we're in this constantly on our highways here in Florida. Right. I mean, between, you know, major highways such as 75 and I-10 that go through the state of Florida, I mean, you can't you can't go more than a mile without seeing a tractor trailer. Um, and so uh, recently I came across um, a client who had been involved uh, where a tractor trailer had rear-ended a number of vehicles. And um, it was unfortunately because um, he couldn't stop the vehicle in time because of the load was too heavy. Um, interestingly enough, it's not just the operator of the tractor trailer or the owner of the tractor trailer. Um, in this particular instance, the truck was owned by one company and the trailer was actually owned by another company and it had been loaded by yet a different company. And so um, ultimately the thing to think about with tractor trailer rigs is it may not just be one person's fault. Um, there are a number of things that can happen. And in that particular case, it was the loading company that had loaded the, um, the trailer incorrectly and with the incorrect amount of weight on it so that that particular truck couldn't stop in a timely manner. Well, and not so, only that, but I'd imagine you're crossing state lines. Some of these companies are probably in other states right. as well. Yeah, a lot of times you'll, you will you more than likely will end up in federal court, um, which has different rules, uh, different regulations on just civil procedure. And so, you know, you've got to have an attorney that knows the, the rules in federal court as well as state court. Um, but it really, the, the takeaway from a tractor trailer truck um, accident is it may not just be the driver um, of the vehicle. There are a lot of elements and a lot of things that have to be looked into when a tractor trailer is involved. Um, there's also certain rules and protocols that the driver has to follow before they even take off in that rig. Um, they have uh, logs that they have to keep. So it's a very, very um, in-depth process. And if someone um, has been involved in a tractor trailer, they need to make sure that whoever is handling that claim is familiar with those types of, of accidents. Well, and I was just going to ask, I mean, it seems like that's even more of a reason to make sure from the very beginning that a lawyer might need to get involved just because I mean, right. it is a different class. Well, in that particular case, it was because um, our law firm got involved very, very quickly and were able to, they still had the load on the trailer. And um, so discovery was able to be done very, very quickly rather than, you know, if it's if it's months to a years later, that load's probably not still going to be on there. And if whoever loaded that trailer didn't keep proper logs, then it's going to be very hard to to potentially prove your case. Yeah. Well, we've been showing the website, the number as well. I know this is just one aspect of, of um, you know, all the work that you do for people. And I know that's your passion is making sure people get their questions answered, is it not? Yes. Yeah. Call us anytime. Well, again, there's the info. This will also go on uh, our website as well. But as always, so good to see you.